how to instantly improve the quality of your webcam in OBS regardless of any webcam you may be using. So what you need to do right now, I have my webcam connected in OBS and what I need to do, I need to go under that webcam, go to properties. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go where it says configure video. All right. So what I need to do is once you open it, you're going to see this little tab say properties. The first thing we're going to go to video pro amp. This is where you have the brightness, contrast, hue, sharpness, and everything. Second, we have the camera control. If you have a PTZ camera, you can have access to pan and tilt and roll options however mine doesn't have that but we have the exposure so the first thing we need to set the exposure right again this is going to depend on your webcam the first thing that i recommend is to make sure you have some sort of lighting so you have a key light because if you don't have good lighting your webcam as much as you want to play with it and try to change settings if your lighting sucks the image not gonna look good all right you want to make sure you have good lighting a key light facing you and then go to exposure we're gonna set the exposure around minus six push it to minus six and as you can see the exposure it's gonna look good with the exposure of minus six hit apply and then go to video pro amp and then we're gonna go to brightness as you can see you're gonna play with brightness again depending on your lighting you may not uh, actually have to use my numbers you may probably go lower or a little bit higher but you don't want to do too much on brightness okay so mine is set to 62 looks good contrast as you can see depending on your camera as you see see if i lower the contrast you can see that the camera looks a little washed out so you want to make sure you boost it up to something like 80 85 even 90. again this is gonna depend on your webcam if your webcam is actually super contrasty you may want to lower it okay so the hue you can leave it the way it is saturation i would say don't touch it because it kind of looks weird as you can see if i change it just the image is gonna change and it doesn't look really good my skin tone is just big becomes messy now for sharpness usually for webcams they tend to be a little sh too sharp so what you need to do is you need to lower it around 24 25 something like that you want to make sure you set the white balance to match the key light that you're using so mine is 5600 kelvin so my white balance i'm gonna set it to 5600 kelvin backlit comp you can leave it you know around nine and then for the gain this is like iso kind of thing so right now mine is set at 10 again depending on your lighting you need to kind of play with it but don't do too much because if you do too much as you can see it's gonna be too washed out so again around 9 10 should be good no problem and as you can see the image actually looks really really good so what you need to do guys you want to go ahead and hit apply hit okay and hit okay and as you can see my webcam looks really really good again lighting is important and once your lighting is good you want to make sure you can go ahead and play these settings make sure you follow for more live streaming tips like this one.